Hi everyone, I'm doing an unboxing of the Scepter U55 4K HD series TV. You can buy at Walmart. Um, I'm doing this unboxing. This is actually my first time ever doing anything like this. It was basically because I never could find any information and very few reviews online. So I um, wanted to show everybody the box on the outside. That I believe it has four HDMI outputs. It has the optical audio out, all the components inside, just the normal box art, and then some of the information here on the side. Yeah, it has the mobile high definition link, which was great. The uh, 4K LED. Everyone says they use the sound bar, so the channels per speaker didn't really make a difference. But um, also that it's uh, HDMI 2.0 and HD CP 2.2 required, and the 120 hertz, which is important for uh, visual quality. So I'm gonna unbox it. And you guys can take a look. So I just took it out of the box and placed it on its face. Looks like it has these um, small attachments for the stand. Looks like you can see those. Uh, looks like you bolt them or screw them right here on the bottom portion of the of the TV. I haven't looked at the instructions yet, but come around here. So looks like it has your standard optical out here on the left. I can't tell if that's optical out or in. Uh, excuse me, um, the left and right audio in. Uh, looks like you got your component inputs, line out. This is your uh, 4K at 30 hertz, then your HDMI 4K at 60. Interesting. And then you have here your other two HDMI inputs. This is the 4K at 60, 4K at 60 as well, as well as your uh, mobile uh, input MHL. Then your uh, digital cable and USB input. So again, off to the side is HDMI, HDMI 1 and 2, 3 and 4. It looks like there's 130 at 30 hertz. Regular power in, the package contents, display stand, screws, power cord. As I said, here at the bottom of the base is the uh, attachments for those that may mount it. Looks like it's uh, the 400 millimeters by 600 millimeter um, screw size M6, just for planning purposes. It's got a graphic of all this, uh, all these inputs, just like we went through earlier. Uh, looks like that USB does allow for flash drive input. And then you guys can use this to read over at your leisure. It did come with the remote and the screwdriver, interestingly. Um, it, own, it has its own kind of generic battery pack. So let me take this out here. Looks like it's standard buttons here. Kind of full functioning uh, remote. I uh, probably will use my Direct TV remote uh, to control the TV, but uh, it looks like it's full functioning. It looks like. So here it is on its stand, and I know a lot of people worry about how wobbly it is, but it looks pretty stable. I mean. I mean, I've definitely seen better, even on the carpet, however, it stays, it looks pretty stable. Um, you know, pretty low, it doesn't really come off the ground very much, but uh, depending on the placement on your TV, maybe on the console, it may be okay. But uh, yeah, let me hook it up and then I'll show you some content. So here's the DirecTV setup on 
FX just happens to be showing the Avengers and it's in uh, actually 720p which uh, still looks pretty good um, still a little bit of graininess but in reality considering the cost and how big this is pretty dang cool um, I mean we're sitting about five feet away and this is at least as good as the ones that I've seen in the stores, kind of mid-range, Westinghouse, Vizios, um, you know, never going to match Samsung's and probably not the Sony's at uh, this price point and size, but uh, or at resolution. But we'll be trying 4K probably in the next couple days, as best I can get a hold of it and try to get it on the on the stream. But uh, let me show you some of the menus. So it gives you the uh, picture, which then allows you to check the uh, color temperature from normal, warm, and cool, and then a user as well. Um, I'll have to play with that a little bit more. Then brightness contrast if you're uh, into adjusting it online I'd read that a lot of people do adjust it calibrate it appropriately sound looks like it's got all the surround sound modes bass treble all the standard stuff so I was just figuring out the uh, it says uh, menu language menu transparency clock kind of your basic stuff then source labels and then we'll exit out of here